Makeup is a very saturated field and for you to stand out as a makeup artist, you need to know some certain tips. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Viana's Beauty and I talk everything beauty and fitness related. And today I'll be continuing a video I started some time ago, which is tips to becoming a professional makeup artist. As we finish this simple makeup of today, I want you to get your pens and note the points because these points are very important to make you stand out as a makeup artist. In our first video, the first part of this video, we talked about things aside from skill that can make you stand up as a makeup artist some examples were like um the importance of having a good breath because makeup is a contact it's a, a body contact profession other things like also smelling good hygiene organization skills that's just to um illustrate on the points we mentioned in that video to continue with this the point of this video please if you have not subscribed to our channel do so by hitting on the subscription button and joining the family also share this video to all your makeup besties now to proceed with our tips on becoming a professional uh, makeup artist our number one tip of today will be hone your craft I say that again, hone your craft. It's very important for you to explore all resources the internet has to offer and check out your local drugstore, makeup counter or beauty supply store for beginner tools. This is because drugstores that are relatively affordable and for you to become a professional makeup artist, you need to practice and practice over and over again. And for you to do so, it's advisable for you to use drugstore products because you're not yet really earning from it even if people are paying you you'll be at um a lesser price as your makeup looks improve you can then specialize with certain brands that you feel um are giving you the look you want if that makes sense so it's important for you to start with your drugstore product and um and work your way up so number two tip of today is get real world experience which goes back to the first point we talked about getting drugstore to practice over and over again if you're not ready for beauty school or another training program look for jobs at a local beauty store or local theater where a body makeup artist can practice more exaggerated styles and learn how lightening affects the final look this is also the time to build your makeup kit so you're prepared for any occasion. Which means that getting a, a real world experience is you working with different faces, different occasions, different um, life events. Because there are different kinds of makeup, there are different um makeup professions we were, which we are going to get into in another video for example cinematography makeup is different from a brighter makeup it's different from a casual makeup it's different from an everyday makeup do you get the point so being in the real world experience differentiates you makes you to stand out as a makeup artist if someone like for example if you had the opportunity of making up somebody like beyonce and she's going for a live show i always see on the new cast and other blogs where they're asking what kind of makeup does she use on her face for her to resist the sweating her her, her makeup is not becoming um smudgy it's not becoming cakey it is not moving an inch like her foundation will be how it was from the beginning of the program so those are different types of makeup and different events and you won't learn you won't get into that professional level if you are not practicing in the real world sometimes you can start by like going free of charge for example if there is a show in your town you can just offer to do a makeup for a few people for free that's how you get into the real world quickly we're going to get into the next tip which is a professional training nowadays you can get professional training in um that's the itech level you can also if you don't really have the resources to pay for it 
you can get um, a certificate from Allison. They give free lessons there. Probably you just have to pay for your certificate, which is which comes in very handy. And uh, in as much as a certificate does not really guarantee skill, it's important to still have it because with your certificate, you can get a license, you can get insurance, and it's this insurance that will guide you from um, any unforese uh, unforeseen. Furthermore, it's important for you to know the different skin tones. No two persons are the same, even if they're identical twins that see some features that will not be the same. For this reason, you have to practice, you have to extremely practice skin tones and know the occasion your client is going in for. That's why another point, another tip is to offer consultation. Now, makeup artists just, just, um, just go very casually you just book a makeup and then you come and you do the makeup you need to know what the makeup is for you need to know the event you need to know what the person is wearing you need to know the caliber of people that will be there you need to know the activities that the makeup at the the, the client the makeup clients will be doing while in the event do you understand if you're going for a concert where there will be a lot of dancing a lot of shouting a lot of jumping you need to know the products to use because all the products and the brands they have their 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 cons and pros so if you don't know these and you can only know it through consultation is your client an oily skin is she has a dry does she have a dry skin would she require um would she require uh, a, a, a skincare routine before the makeup all these matters it also helps to like determine what you would charge so for me there's no specific amount that i charge for makeup so i can say okay probably the makeup starts from 50 um euros upwards depending on what you want depending on the on your face depending on your facial look some faces require more work than others but you will not know this if you don't offer a consultation online consultation is good but since makeup is a body contact service it's important that you do a physical consultation or at least um a zoom or a virtual consultation like a video call consultation because then you're seeing the person even with a video that's why i said at least because sometimes during video calls you might use um you might use filters and you will not know it, the exact amount of work you have to put in on that person's face what if the person has a lot of dark spots you need to cover up what if the person has like skin um skin disease that you might have to let them consult with their doctor before you have to put any product on it that is that those are points that you you really need to consider before getting into the profession of being a makeup artist and um furthermore talking about skin yeah talking about skin you need to know the products you're working with like read and no, especially as a beginner makeup artist, you want to go for a drugstore, you want to go for cheaper products. But please make sure that you've done research on the products that you are using. So that you won't have clients going and coming back with blemishes, going and coming back with a product that you use on their face that is reacting. That's why skin prep is very important if you're getting into the makeup field. And then... Again, consultation is very important because you ask your client, do you react to makeup? Do you react to certain products? You know, if this product has alcohol, will, will you react on your skin? Th those are minor things that really make you stand out as a makeup artist. Guys, I know what I'm doing with the lips. It's kind of like ah, what she's doing, but always trust the process. At this point, I just have to chip in that if your clients can't really, there's some clients that don't know how to blend makeup, um, their lips because you don't blend your lips anyhow. You blend your imagine if you're just scrubbing your lips, um, smacking your lips anyhow. You can always use this disposable, 
um, lip blender to, to blend your client, your client's lips. At this point, if you're gaining, um, if you're gaining knowledge out of this video, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Do well to drop, do well to drop a comment for us. If you have other tips on how you can stand up as a makeup artist, you can stand up as a makeup artist. I'm thinking of making these videos like a series because I had so much love and views from the last one I did and like to bring testimonials and bring other makeup artists to the platform to share their experiences one thing you should know is that no two makeup artists are the same what works for me might not work for you and it's even it goes the same way with the brushes that we use i might be using a fan brush to to apply highlighter and another makeup artist might just use a powder brush so this comes with experience you doing it over and over again makes you discover the things that work for you and the things that gives you speed as we prepare to get into the pottery of this video please i really appreciate if you drop points that work for you in the comments that way i will not run out of points those points that i'm giving they are particularly points that have worked for me and points that i've researched on and um i discovered that um they make my clients keep on coming back to me because just like i said in the first video the reasons why we do all these things is so that you stand up from stand out from the other makeup artists and even if your client has to go and try somebody else they will end up coming back to you over and over again an advantage for me is if you're a makeup artist you should at least have a hair idea which means after you've done your makeup you need to put your client's hair on point so that if you're taking a picture everything will come together everything will stand together not that you do makeup and the face is looking nice and the hair is looking anyhow you need to at least have basic hair skills that's the next point yeah have basic hair skills that can make you stand out as a makeup artist and that can make your client look all put together now look at the final look this is just so simple um most people will tell you that i still want to look like myself and that's the kind of makeup i believe in so guys if you've not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and we have a membership you can join for a very small amount to just show our support now this is the final look thank you so much for watching up to this point if you watch to this point just put on the comments i am beautiful and i'll see you in my next stay blessed